looking at one of the best heavyweights in UFC history. The man who holds the record still for the most consecutive heavyweight title defenses, the Cleveland-based firefighter Stipe Miocic back from Montana. Going into our fight at UFC 226, he was universally considered the greatest heavyweight champion of all time. And that was rightfully deserved by beating Francis Ngannou, by beating Alistair Overeem, by beating Fabricio Verdun. When you beat guys like that, those honors are cast upon you and you have deserved them. Steve Aviochi is one of the greatest fighters the heavyweight division has ever seen. martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, now set to fight Stipe Miocic. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Stipe Miocic. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Herb Dean, third, third man fight. in the octagon third. tonight. Third. Right, early round action here. We have seen Stipe Miocic invest in the body, attack the body in previous fights to great effect. And, you know, he's pretty tight-lipped in our fighter meetings, as you can attest, DC. But certainly he feels like the body is going to be there tonight if he can invest in it early. Division and there's Steve Bay Miocic finding a home for that pull right hand early. He does it really well. He baits you into throwing something. And the moment you throw, he slips and he lets the right hand fly. He did it constantly against Francis Ngannou in the first fight. It has become one of his better strikes throughout his UFC career. And that's been and kicked out of Tomo Tuck. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. And that one certainly found the target. All right, there's the leg kick you expected. He would employ them heavily here tonight, and maybe the boxer wants to go back to the sweet science after that. Yeah, he wants to box. He wants to look pretty, but this is mixed martial arts. You've got to use all of your tools. And by throwing those kicks, you are showing that this is an evolution of the fight game. We ain't boxing the square circle. This is a mixed martial arts fight. Beautiful job. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. That's a good right hand there by Stipe. Maybe he'll attack the body here. You can certainly speak to that. He's yeah. a guy who mixes it up well on the field. He's a guy that can do everything. And not only can he land punches up high and punches up low, but he's a master of adjusting 
on the fly whenever he's inside the octagon. Oh, these leg kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. They're so evenly matched, they're going to attack. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Miocic. Put the guard beautifully there. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Overhand lands flush. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Lands the inside leg kick there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh! Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Oh, oh look at that. And blocks that hard punch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. Sidekick. What a beautiful high kick that landed there. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Do a work with the jab. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that center cover. Tries to work it into a takedown. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plans. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by the heavyweight Miocic. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, another strike. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. Great job. Final seconds here of round one. Oh. Second round, straight ahead. All right, take a seat, bud. Ooh, slow it down. How you feel? Great, man. That was awesome. I told you you were going to win this fight with cardio. He is already stuck. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Nice job by Miocic on the feet, making some adjustments, and man, that jab looks clean tonight. I mean, that jab looks clean, but you gotta be very careful not to get hit with a steep in the right hand. It's powerful, it's straight, and it can be very damaging. Let's go, keep moving. Beautiful high kick there. Yeah. Out of range with that one. Bad. 
Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. He's one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Well, as my favorite rap group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Look at that switch lead. Beautiful switch lead. Well, that strike right there, that pull right hand, as you call it, has really become a trademark of Stipe Miocic on the feet. Yeah, you got to be very careful how you approach Stipe because he sets you up. He will feint a jab when you return. He pulls, and he hits you with the right hand. And right now, his opponent is not picking up on it. Stipe can put you to sleep if you aren't careful in the way that you approach him. Nice jab there. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Hands on your face. Under three to go round two. Big shot lands for both guys. Great defensive skills. He blocked that punch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Good straight hand there by Lou. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, man. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh. He heard him. Under two minutes to go. Well-placed kick there by Miacic. His nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but... Oh! Both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step backwards. What a phenomenal fight. Oh, nice double take. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Miacic is right back to the full mount. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key, is you controlling the underhook on the far side. Oh, no! Big ground and pound. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Miacic. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Ready.
Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Head kick, that's a miss. Oh, a the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go finish. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that. is denied. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Another strike gets through from the top position. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. Alright, try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Oh, man, another ground strike gets through. It's going to be Motrin in the morning. The swelling starting to appear. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. He's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by the heavyweight Miocic. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier in the round. But that's exactly what you expect, right? He took such a bad knockdown early. It's going to be on him to build back into this fight as we go forward. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, nice. Leaves an absolute mess right now. There's blood everywhere. I'm not so sure they're not going to stop this fight right now. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combo. Oh, he landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, with authority, the body. One minute now to go in the third. Oh, big left hook there. Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to end? to give him more of an advantage on the mat. Oh, good shot landed there from the bottom. Lee gets back up again. Nicely done. Trying to find a home for that right hand. in the 
books, we are headed to the championship rounds. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That cash is getting serious. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes... Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Takedown defense holds up. Get out of there. Just oh. oh, man, he's hurt. Oh! <laughs> Lee's eye is closing up. Continuing to attack the head as that time the punch lands. Oh, big, big shots here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Miacic. He gets hit with another massive ground and pound strike. He has got to protect this cut. You see him put himself into the half guard? Like the control, yep. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Beautiful ground strikes land. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by the heavyweight Miacic. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Good, solid strike on the ground. Back mount now. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see it anymore. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, and his corner will not save him. This is crazy. Stipe's back in full mount. Well, he's got his back now. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. North-South position now. Making all these shots count. Miacic is able to transition back to side control now. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Miacic. Split the guard beautifully there. Big, big shots landed by him now. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Great reversal to top position by Lee. Good work, guys. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the, the fans came to see... Oh! oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Get the takedown. We need it. You need the takedown now. 
Oh, there's that low kick. That'll leave a mark. Back and forth we go. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Uh, 20 minutes in the uh, can, five to go. Uh, All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. We expected this type of fight. We trained for this. Bloody. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Beautiful kick lands there. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Big shot on the feet. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Push kick there to the body. Gets him close and gets that single call to the body. Do it! Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ready for the official decision, Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 48 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Stipe Miocic. All right, the future UFC Hall of Famer Stipe Miocic getting his hand raised here tonight, still proving on this night, as he has done many times prior, that he's one of the best heavyweights in the world. He's one of the best heavyweights in the world. He's one of the best heavyweights.